Yeah, let's let's get one in against Mini. Okay. Let's see what sort of goodies are at the shop now. I got 99 coins. I'm already playing so well. I'm not I'm not I'm not sure if I want to buy anything. Ah, Morty's Morty hilarious, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I don't really feel like buying buying anything. Maybe if there's maybe if there's more items that come out, maybe I want to save my coins. Yeah, so I get to choose either Morty or... Wait, who's Morty? Yeah, who's Morty? I've never heard of this character. I've, uh, I remember, I... I watched a fair bit of Disney when I was, when I was a lad. I will, I will, it is my professional opinion that Three Musketeers is one of the best Disney movies ever made. Anyways, I'm also forgetting that I have water. So, yeah. Nice swanky jazz. Oh, uh, yeah! He looks like- he looks like Mickey Mouse with the crown, so... Yeah. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Maybe we'll see Minnie again some other time. For any of you that have a Musa Musaphilia fetish, who thinks pro golfers are cool, I'm sorry. Goofy to take him out to play. Goofy takes Morty to the course, but Yay! Don't jump around like that. You'll tire yourself out. Okay, so we got this little we got this little tyke, and we're playing at a mountain course. Oof. Yes. Okay. I like Pluto with the uh, loading screen there. Imagine if Pluto was playable. So this, so this, this is a course that definitely resembles like you know the the Rocky Mountains. Like I'm getting some Rocky Mountain vibes here. Except, holy crap, look at that, look at that scene in the background there. Yeah, there's definitely more trees and more water here. That is, yeah, that is, like... This almost, this almost is kind of like the Yosemite, really, if with, like, the way that the fall, like, those giant, like, this giant cliff and these falls and whatever, that's, that is cool. That is cool. And we got these nice cabins. Yeah, this is definitely like some Yosemite stuff going on here. This kid's swinging the clubs pretty well, considering how either how small he is or how big the clubs are. I also like that the character's facial expressions change depending on what's happening. Like, you notice that Morty's face kind of dropped there when the ball landed in a hazard. <gasps> we got bunnies! Is that Thumper? Is that Thumper? God damn it. I want to try to... Okay, there's like bluebirds and flower. No, that's a butterfly. Butterfly? Butter. 
Yeah, I don't know. Bambi reference. Okay, whatever. I guess y'all kids don't remember your uh, old-timey Disney. It's a shame, really. It's like, you know, you you hardly see anything of, of, of Mickey from uh, the past 20 years. Oh, Mickey's nephew, huh? Okay. So that's like some additional canon, I suppose. Poor Morty. Better luck next time. Let's see. That's that's still looking a little bit too far, especially with the elevated green for a power shot a power shot Yuger. So I don't think that's gonna happen. Still. Gooby is Gooby is strong, especially after a couple of those level ups, and that and then we're also we're also packing those those three percent roids. So I think that that's made a difference too. I want those Yugers, damn it! It's also nice being it being it you know being stronger means that you're able to use shorter clubs on average. And using shorter clubs means more control and softer landings. Oh. Uh, well, that's a little awkward. We are... We are, like, at 50 yards, but... I get the feeling this shot might not work very well. Because this is kind of, like, more like a chipping club, so... What are we gonna... Yeah, I think we're, I think we're just gonna try some kind of... Some kind of weird fraction shot. Okay, pin high. I can dig it. I'm amazed that... I I'm, I'm amazed that Morty can swing straight at all, considering, like, how his clubs are angled. Although, let's be honest. The way Goofy putts here, how do you expect him to hit straight? And yet he does. It's like magic. Okay. Oh, okay, this is cool. We got this like weird stone arch that guards that guards the green, so this would be cool in a real course, not gonna lie. This would be cool. This would, this is the kind of obstacle that would inherently force you to play high, and this is the kind of hole that definitely favors your uh, your stronger hitter because they would more easily have the loft to you know get over this thing. Although, granted, if you're not, you could be the kind of person that might might try to might opt to play a punch under this arch. So I don't know how in the heck you would incorporate this into a real course, but if you could, then. That would be pretty cool. I think I undercooked it, but we'll see what happens. Because without backspin, it seems like these these shots do roll a lot. Well, shit. Maybe that headwind did something. What? What the hell was that? Secret zone. What kind of dark magic did I just witness? I hit the rock, and then coins spill out, and it says, Secret Zone, and then this little kid here does manage to bounce on top of the arch, and has a birdie putt. 
I... I... I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened there. Alright. I, I know this time not to underestimate this win, so... I'm gonna hit this a little firmer. And, uh, yeah, lack of backspin. So, I might actually lose this hole. Although, granted, I think Donald actually beat me on a hole at some point before. So, this would not be the first hole I lose. Assuming that I both miss this and I both sink this and Morty misses his putt. So, six yards, come on. This is almost too close to, to analyze properly. Just trying to figure out what I want to do. I want to be careful here. Damn! I thought I missed it. I got a hole in too many. You had me. You had me there in the first half. Not gonna lie, Goofy. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and I still lost. The goddamn little kid pumping. Well, shit. I lost a hole. Okay. Okay, that hole was uh, surreal. Alright, excellent. And he lays up short of the lake, which is probably a smart plan. Oh. Alright. And given the, given the way the green is shaped, I'm wondering if I should do the same or if I could play over here. Yeah, this is a uh, this is good this is good course design, all things considered. It it has that little bit it has that little bit of risk reward fat you know factor. Although granted, some of that some of that risk reward can be circumvented by strong by strong play, but I want to see what happens if I play a stronger shot, out you know outside, rather than you know lag up. Yeah, because I'm I'm only a hundred away there versus Morty's 130, so... Maybe it's worth it being closer for not quite as good of an angle. Maybe it's worth it. Green Reg again. Okay, so this kid is a... Yeah, this kid's a little bit tougher than the previous two. Alright. Alright. Here's what we do. We're gonna stick a nine. Catch some rain clouds on the way up. <laughs> You're on the green. Excellent. So yeah, from the looks of it, if you place the impact point most of the way down on those short irons, you will uh, achieve a pretty good amount of bite, actually. So that's good to know. That is kind of like that would be kind of like the equivalent of activating backspin in uh, in Total Tour, say for instance. That breaks a lot. Too bad. this, and then let's see what your opponent does. Yeah, I think I overreacted. Okay. It happens. Ain't he cute? You know what they say though, little punk? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm gonna beat you on this hole. It's a par 5. You have no chance. Okay. That was actually a good drive. To the right. So yeah, we got this, like, long-ass stretch of fairway here, and then it... And then there's a sharp dog leg, so... It's probably in my best interest to use a... Use a power shot here. That's it. Yeah, it's probably in my best interest to do that. Although there's some there's some jinky ass shit going on with the fairway on the edges here, so yeah, we will want to be careful. I think try not try not to end up on the right if possible, even though we 
We do have this crosswind, so... Oh, maybe. Maybe I can avoid that stuff outright. Gothian Blur! Activate! That is a perfect drive. Hey, Lamau dudes. Let's play over three pounds. I don't want to mess with this. <laughs> Look, Max. See, that's what happens when you don't play far enough. You get obstacles in your way. But now we got a clear shot here. So, it, so Mickey has had a change in tone. So he says, "Trying for an eagle is not a bad idea." Finally, I get the respect I deserve. This ball is... We're going way uphill, though, so... Yeah, more power! We need... We need more power! We need even more power! More power! I can't change the laws of physics! But I can get Yuger! I can't change the laws of physics, but I can get a Yuger. I get the impression that... Um, maybe it's the fact that you're able to, like, select these in, in any particular order, so... I'm, uh, so it's, it's like, as I'm powering up, you know, they're staying the same, but maybe something will happen after this third match, after this third match. Because it says something about, like, you know, three matches out of three, you know, however many matches out of three. So. Ooh, okay. Yes. Absolutely, getting an eagle is worth shaking the booty. All right, so back to two up, as opposed to like five up. All right, so here we got a hole that sort of closer resembles uh, CCF 13 with its multiple little pond thingies, but except this is, you know, shorter and simpler, but yeah. You wouldn't believe on a real course how easy it would be to land in these. You would not believe. Oof. Second stroke. Okay. Another headwind. Maybe I'm gonna do like a a little bit of a tweak. So that then if the ball stops, it won't go too far. Too close. <coughs> Too close. Mm. Third stroke. I could putt this, couldn't I? Yeah, I could. Oh, there's different putty meters. I don't know why that's never occurred to me. But yeah, apparently there's, yeah, see here, there's three different meters. Each one, tw each one twice as, uh, each one twice as much as the previous. Okay. Mmm. I wonder if this potentially means that if, say, if I wanted to speedrun this game, if it would save time to toggle putting meters so that then I don't go as I don't go as far up the meter for my putts. Oh God! You know?
This could be speedrunnable. You never know. Just keep on going like that. You know what rule 43 is? If not, I will tell you. Rule 43 is if a game exists, it is on speedrun. Wait, this is a part of five. Hey, Lamau. Let's go big. Okay. And let's go big and see what happens. Delicious. I want that Yuger. I don't need it, but I want it because I want more coins. Because coins are shiny, and coins are good. Alright. I need you to take a ginormous bounce. And dodge the trees! Son of a biscuit. I didn't even think that that would come into play, but maybe the headwind was just that strong. Oh well. Maybe I could have tried playing it higher, I don't know. Oh well. Now remember how the rough is going to affect this shot. Yes, Mickey. And because I'm landing so resoundly short, I'm thinking maybe I wanna go beyond that to go beyond that flashing bar. Still. Wait a minute, so option spend 2500 coins so you couldn't Jaeger for an hour I'd spend it oh okay I was I was thinking I was thinking you'd spend coins on doing something I already do which is not drinking hey Lamau you know one of these days I might actually have to I might actually have to get inebriated one of these days but that's just not my thing yeah that's just not my thing yeah I don't know I, I've never I've never stumbled into the whole like I I don't know if there's a word for it like but I've in, I've invented an expression fear pressure so yeah that's I've I've never I've never like maybe except for briefly in my college days um I've never I've I have never been the kind of person to fall into beer pressure just you know random random stuff and things okay. Ah! Nice shot! Oh, no! Ah, oh, no! I was gonna say, if he sinks that... Okay, let's see, so four up through seven, so that means, that means four more wins, yeah, that means four more wins, at most. Yeah, I love these, I love these cliffs and waterfalls, and these textures are still pretty good. I don't know, Mike. Now please stop asking, okay? Please stop asking. You are you're kind of becoming borderline annoying. Cuz uh, I've answered I've probably, I've answered that question multiple times. So
All right. sneak all right gotta give this a good smack so it doesn't curve too much oh shoot I I, I canceled Mickey now I feel bad Oh no. This is kinda like this is kinda like the one hole on the American course. This it's short but it goes way uphill, so I gotta play it high. Those cuckoos kinda remind me of like the background noise in Toastal Tour. Although I couldn't tell I couldn't tell you if that's just like a sound effect in part of this music or if it's actually part of the OST. Yeah, these uphill holes are tricky. That's another reason why I like to invest in powers, because then that allows me to play higher shots as well. It's always a struggle when every shot has to be played like a punch. Go in, go in. Nice shot. I didn't press any buttons. That was just that was just the game slowing down for dramatic effect. Either that or my PS2 is uh, is bursting into flames because it's it's an it's an old used unit and so, you know, I don't know. Consoles be like that sometimes. But thankfully I have a uh, I have a noise gate on set up for my mic, so oh, you know the the background noise from the con from the console spinning the disc is beneath the threshold, so you wouldn't be hearing it. Cause I know how noise gates work. I highly recommend um, at least for most people, experimenting with some, with whatever kind of um, with uh, with noise gates, compressors, or and or limiter filters for at least their microphones, if not potentially other audio sources. Like if like if if you ever find during your stream when you uh, when you scream if 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 it sounds like you know if if you get like a scratchy noise. Then that means that that means that the audio waves are clipping, are clipping, and are reaching maximum magnitude. So the way to fix that is to add a limiter filter. That that will that will cut the peaks of the uh, it'll cut the amplitude up to a up to a certain threshold. So e so even if you scream, then yeah, you know, like the the audio will still become like distorted, but it won't be like. Horrifically loud. Just a minor pro tip. You don't say, Mickey. Second stroke. All right. Well, let's do it, my dude. We're gonna play a nice, lofty driver. Man, that thing still rolls like a mofo. Okay. Fair deal. Cause, yeah, Morty got himself into a mess, so... Yeah, he had to dodge a tree, and... Now he's, uh, he's, he's smacking a poached egg, and... Then I'm gonna do like a little chip sort of thing. A little bit of 
bit overcut. Maybe I should trust the meter more. Rather than think I'm too smart for it. Oh well, an extra five coins, right? Although... The bonus for the eagle would have probably been more than five, so... Eh, you know. Nice. Minor consolation for missing, I guess. Okay. Just a little more. Winning hole. Okay. Well, in this case, what do I have to what do I have to lose burning some energy? I got 69 energy and these power shots only take 8. So, yeah, bloody hell. What do I got to lose? Other than time, I guess. Yeah, that that's this uh this could potentially be interesting as a speed game. Especially especially if it gets more difficult. Especially if it gets more difficult. Even if not even if not, then you know, that still doesn't mean that um, you know, there's Ways in which in wa ways in which you can play optimally, and you know, um, the way that you the way that you buy whatever items you buy to ensure that to ensure that you um, to ensure that you win matches in as few holes as possible. Because the fewer holes you play, then that can save you a lot of time in in these like match games or you know whatever whatever other sort of scenarios come up. So I don't know. That's just that's just my mind gears going, but. I could I could definitely see there being some strategy here. If, you know, I were to ever treat this as a as a speed game rather than just as a sort of first playthrough that I happen to be doing amazingly well at. Yeah, so that definitely goes way uphill at the end. So, we're going to smack this good. I think I just canceled Goofy. All right, eight up and eight up with seven to play, so that's game. Poor kid. I don't know. That just seems that just seems wrong to me. Just this ginormous this ginormous dog lad. Just like thrashing this little kid at golf. Some doesn't feel right about that. Ooh, expert class. Okay, wait. So these were the quote-unquote beginner matches. So now, so, so so now after winning three, that means now we have the expert class. Hmm. Fascinating. 